Normally my videos are in Spanish. Normalmente mis videos son en español. But today, pero hoy va a ser todo en inglés. It's gonna be all in English. So if you don't speak English, si no hablas inglés, pone los subtitulitos. Today I'm in Universal Studios. I'm so excited. This is the one in LA. I've never been to this one. I've been to the one in Orlando many times and I love it. And I'm so excited to come to this one. I've never been to this new Jurassic World ride, Life of Pets ride, the this version of the mummy. So I'm beyond excited and I'm gonna have a special guest that I'm gonna collab with. You'll see him pretty soon. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and like. Let's begin. Número uno, estamos buscando el mundo de Harry Potter. Vamos a preguntar, excuse me, where's Harry Potter? The... Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok, nuestra primera visión es Harry Potter. First is Harry Potter. I'm so excited. He gets a little motion sick. So, fingers crossed, he doesn't get dizzy, but I love this ride. We're here! We're in hugs, me! I've been to one in Orlando, but it always just feels so magical to be here. It's like, I don't know, as I, I'm a huge Potterhead. I need to know, what's your house? I need to know, comment down below. I'm a Hufflepuff, obviously. <laughs> I'm the most Hufflepuff person you'll ever meet. <laughs> we got the train. We got my favorite store right there. Uh, I don't know why I'm stuttering. I'm just so excited. Are you ready to see the Hogwarts castle? It's just so epic. Like, they nailed it. That did you know that Disney almost like, got the right to do Harry Potter in the parks? But they're like, oh, we're just gonna do this lame ride. We're not gonna do a land. And J.K. Rowling was like, um, I'm not gonna do that. Look, that's Hermione's dress from the Jewel Ball. I love all the little sounds, the ambience. Oh, I'm home. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy. And we got the castle. Which one do you prefer? Cinderella's castle or Hogwarts castle? Hogwarts 100%. Hogwarts 100%. Oh, they wow, cool. nailed it. This is really, really cool. It's insane. I really like this. It's insane. What is that? They do some shows over there. I just love coming with someone who's never been here before and just like seeing from the perspective. what is that? How do we get in there? Yeah, that's a ride. And then I'm gonna go to this other one. Wait, they, what is that ride? This is uh, the best one. It's a. Uh, Why are we going there now? Yeah. Oh. We're inside the Hogwarts right now. The queue is one of the best. I'm a little salty that they don't have the Great Hall. I will say that as like an eating option would be iconic. But overall, it's just so amazing. The queue, they nailed it. But next time, you know, if you want to do an expansion at the Great Hall, I'm waiting for that. We just finished the Forbidden Journey. What do you think? Which one was that? <laughs> the Harry Potter one, this one. Oh yeah, that one was really cool. But then we did the Hippogriff one. He wasn't a fan of. I love the Hippogriff one. I always like going on the back because it goes the fastest and I just love that ride. But only if it's a five minute wait. Not more than five minute wait, then don't do it, you know? Now we're just gonna explore a little bit of hot meat. We got to Ollivander and we got... <laughs> what is it? Dumbledore's original one, the interactive one where he can use it in the park, which is really cool. I forgot that Dumbledore had a one before the elder one. So it's really cool looking actually. Ooh, and it That's comes so with a little cool. map where you can interact with yeah. things in the park, which I love that. It makes the experience so immersive. But it's a very expensive piece of plastic, but you know what? It brings joy. Okay, the Colombian is gonna use this one for the first time. We're in the wood. What is why is crazy with ring equipment? So, what's the spell you gotta say? You gotta say it loud. I don't know what does it say. It's in the map. In the map. Mohara. What? El Mohara. No, Aloha Mora. <laughs> Aloha Mora. That's when you unlock things. Instructions unclear. So yeah, let's get this better lighting here. Betty. Gotcha. You know what? You can put the map back in the box. <laughs> if you guys walk up and down both sides of the street and the back alley, look at that. It's a house You're gonna see all of these. What I recommend, you do that, then look at the map, see what you don't recognize. There you go. You might have missed. You see the next one. Hey, I wanna try one now. What is Fly Night Encantment? <laughs> oh my god, it's in Latin. You gotta pronounce it like in Latin, not in. Encantanme. 
Oh my god. You're terrible at this. That's why you haven't received your letter yet. He's a Raven Claw, by the way. You can see him, the, the fit. This is my all time favorite place to come here. Honey Duke is just the best. You can get the chocolate frogs and all the good stuff. Let's see if you recognize any of the candies here. Oh, is that candy store thing? Mm -hmm, that's candy store thing. Do you recognize this one, the chocolate frog? There you go. The, um, what is it? Dumbledore's favorite is the lemon drops right there. Lemon drops. This one is the Berry Bots flavored bean thingy. Isn't this so cute? Oh, we're doing the Secret Life of Pets ride. So the whole story is that we're about to adopt some dogs. So the whole theming is that we're like in this apartment place right now. And the queue uh, what is are you puppies crazy doing immersive. Oh, okay. Look, peek through those doors. Can you see that? No. I gotta get the camera in there. Oh, well they left. It's like... It's so cool, it's so immersive. Let's keep exploring. Okay, here's another door. Oh, that's cool. This is like the the punk dog. <laughs> it doesn't focus on it. Also, I don't think you're in There you go. Oh my god, that's so cute. So in the story, we're little puppies and we're waiting to get adopted. So at the end, you like you can be like adopted for like, there's this LGBTQ uh, couple that could adopt you. It's like randomized. So we hope we get the lesbian couple. Wouldn't it be great if someone could just adopt all of them? Sure, but they don't exactly look as trained. This is the map of the city. It's all there. That's me. That's you. That's the best story. Oh, no, wait, wait. That's the best story. Go! Go, go, go! Yeah! All right, now get out. Come on, gotta leave. Move your puppy butts on up out of here. Wait, what? More dogs are walking in. Look at all here. You in a shirt. I dig you look. <laughs> I'm so excited. This ride is full of animatronics, and that's like my favorite thing. It's a dark ride. It's my favorite style of rides. I love that Universal went back to animatronics and not just screens. So I'm literally so excited to be in a wholesome, immersive ride. Very proud of Universal. Thank you for listening to the people.
so cute. That was very wholesome. Oh, we gotta go. Nice to, oh, this is my boyfriend Alex. Nice to meet you. Yes, yeah. right. recording this podcast. It's just very surreal because I've been following Patrick for like five years and like that. How long? We're, was... we're meeting at Universal. That's <laughs> so crazy. When was the thing in my blogs? Like uh, 2015. Oh, I feel old. <laughs> okay, yeah. since then I've been following. So it's yeah, very six surreal. Years. Yeah, we're I can't old. Wait. We're, we're old. old. <laughs> but I'm so happy to be here with a yeah, fellow nerd yeah. like me, you know, because exactly. I talk to other people and they don't get it, you know, like you do. So I'm super excited to see what we're going to do today. <laughs> and here I have Patrick. Patrick, introduce yourself a Hello, little bit. Hello, I'm Patrick. I have a YouTube channel, Patrick Dougal. Uh, I go to theme parks a lot. So obviously we're at a theme park. <laughs> so we have to. So please don't forget to check all his social medias. I'll link them all below. Thank you. You could be like any, like, Character from a movie, cartoon, which one describes you the most? Describes me the most? Honestly, probably like Milo from Atlantis. Really? Why? Explain. I don't know, we're both like nerdy and quirky and. You yeah. guys gotta look like. And we look like each other. <laughs> I feel yeah, for me you? it'd be uh, Rapunzel and Tinkerbell. Together? Together. You're nice and like sassy. <laughs> I'm not sassy. I feel like aesthetic wise I'm Tinkerbell. Personality okay. Okay. Rapunzel. Okay. I'm 100 percent Rapunzel. Like Disney hire me as your Latina Rapunzel. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. I'm an actress, yo. I love the changes. It lived to the hype. Do you prefer the original or this one? Yeah, I have uh, pros and cons. Pros and cons to both. I agree. Pros I agree. But like the dinosaurs, like the the refurb they did on all the dinosaur skins and the movement is like the amazing. ending. Is just yeah, wow. To watch it, like the Indominus, like walk yeah. and yeah, it's not just standing there going, you know. It's and like, with as big as it is, and you have it right there. Amazing. I love when a ride is like long because I feel like the weight is like worth it. You Absolutely. know. You know, with like Snow White's mind train, it's amazing, but it's like so fast. It's like, I waited an hour. It's like Peter Pan. Peter, Peter Pan's Pan. like seconds. You're like, oh, it's, it's over. Okay. Oh, that was an hour. Worth the wait. Okay. I'm about to try the butter beer. Frozen, frozen. frozen. There's two versions frozen and regular soda version. I prefer the frozen. Okay, we'll see. I mean, it's really hot today, so I feel like it's gonna be perfect. Ooh, that's good. Very sugary though. I feel yeah. like it would get too sugary very fast, but if you want to share it with like, you know, your boyfriend or something, I think it's great. And trust me when I say these contests are not for the faint-hearted. Now, uh, please join me in welcoming the lovely ladies from the Bobaton Academy of Magic.
of the three broomsticks is my first time here. Did we get the same thing? We got the same thing. You know what? Great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna taste this it. Well, oh, I mean, okay. you've tried it. Yes, we got the quarter chicken platter. Oh. Normally I do get the fish and chips, so it's different for oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a um, close them. It comes with corn and potatoes. Love that. <laughs> and my boyfriend just got chicken tenders. <laughs> You know hey, what? that's authentic sure. Harry Potter cuisine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you that's Snape's favorite. You don't remember the chapter where they got chicken fingers? Speaking of, have you read the books? No. Cancel that. <laughs> really? That's so interesting. Yeah, I just I'm I'm just a movie watcher person. That's that's fine. I respect that. Not everyone likes books. You know what? And that's fine. People judge people like that. I'm I like, just no. missed it. It's not that I I read all like Hunger Games. Right. But I just like missed the Harry Potter wave. Mm. Well, it means funny because like I read the books when I was like 15, 16 for the first time. Because growing up, I was so scared of the movies. And so I watched them when I was like 15 and I was like, I love this now I want to, but I actually listened to them in audio. So I like listened to them when I was like sunbathing or like when I was like getting ready and stuff like that. <coughs> Don't die. <Chicken. laughs> he has a dementor. So maybe you should try the audio book. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, if it's this like, video gets viral. It's like viral, 30 days of audio books, right? How long is each book? Uh, it has like 30 to be, hours. It has to be like 30 hours. Yeah, yeah. But so I listen to it when I sunbathe, when I get my makeup done, when I'm like cleaning my house. So it's like. Okay, let's see. eventually it will happen. It will happen, guys. Okay, I really, really liked it. It's very nice. It's also like for theme park food, people think of only burgers, oh, and fries, yeah. and tenders. So it's nice this to have something. This is a great alternative to yes. that. Yes. To feel a bit better about your son, you know? Chicken <laughs> <laughs> You know, he went the traditional way. But if you want something less, you know, the normal thing from Think Parks, there you go. Airproof. We're about to go to the studio tour. I'm really excited. It's like four or five minutes, so uh, make sure you have yeah, your it's pee a break. Long ride. You know, but I'm really excited. I've never, ever, ever been there before. So, what movies can we expect to see? Like, sets? Uh, you'll see a lot of cars, like the show cars, okay. set cars. There's some more surprises. You'll have to see. Yes. Keep watching. <laughs> Which you've seen on television, TV shows, movies, TV commercials. We call this Colonial Street. It was built up here on this location in 1980. But there was an older version of Colonial Street where a lot of these houses were originally located. That gray house on your left was the original home of the Monsters, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. This yellow house on your left was where the Hardy Boys lived in the 1980s on that TV show. This gray house with the red door on the left was uh, originally built for a movie that starred a future president of the United States and a chimpanzee. Uh, sometime last year, they got bought out by the business next door. But um, some of these cars were just used at the park. Others were actually used on screen. The uh, black 1920s pickup was in the movie Oh Brother, Where Art Thou with George Clooney. The yellow 50s hot rod was in a movie directed by George Lucas that was not from Star Wars. I don't know if they're going to really have the, uh, the, uh, the business to support it. So we have 12 vacancies. 12 cabins, 12 vacancies. Yeah, with that, with that kind of occupancy rate, I don't know if they're going to have enough business to support a little. They're having a good time. If you look at the upstairs window on the left, you might see Norman's mom up there waiting for her boy to oh my God. finish work. <laughs> She's been waiting a long time. Well, right behind Norman's house is one of the biggest sets ever constructed for a motion picture. The spectacular crash site set from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds, the 2005 version of that story, starring Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. The plane that you see here was, at one time, an honest-to-goodness, fully functional 747 that was destroyed and brought here to the Universal lot just for the making of this memorable sequence. This cabin here on the right-hand side, if I want to take a picture of that, it's probably not going to be there very much longer. They're going to move it, they'll put it somewhere else, but it's been moved before. It was taken down and reassembled with a soundstage, and it's where Coach used to live, on the classic comedy Coach with Craig T. Nelson. It was seen in the movie Shooter with Mark Wahlberg. It was featured recently on the Star Trek show Picard on Paramount Plus. That's with Deanna Troy and Will Riker living in retirement. But it was actually built quite a few years ago for something a little bit different. Oh, 
Look, we're supposed to go around to the left. What? Why is the FBI trying to get a hold of the studio for us? What's going on? This might be more serious than that. What just happened? This is a secure line. Who are you? Bob I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. We are about to do something iconic, historic. Patrick's first dancing TikTok. My first in public in a theme park. <laughs> I'm no just, pressure. I'm just pulling out all the moves right now. Honestly. We had a little audience watching us. Honestly, I'm so excited for you guys to go watch it. Watch it right now. <laughs> um, how do you feel? I feel like a dancer now. <laughs> you know, I'm, you I'm not a good dancer, but just a dancer. A Latina had to come to teach yes, you the way to exactly. move the hips. Yes, exactly. Please. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. frozen yogurt Ooh. whipped cream and banana candy and it's really hot today so and i haven't had this yet so this is new for me yeah, let's try this. <laughs> trying to get everything oh, mm. oh it's very banana-y really the frozen yogurt part okay i got that note now it tastes like Chemically, if you like that. Chemic, oh, I think artificial banana flavor is always like you know, a little weird. It's a little weird, but it's very refreshing. It is. And just like that, our day in Universal Hollywood has ended. It was so much fun. But we had to go and before we got to do an outro, uh, an outro together. But it was wonderful meeting him. Please go follow him. He's so wonderful and. By the way, if you're here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content. Mwah! Beso!